San Juan, Puerto Rico, a private company that took over power transmission and distribution in Puerto Rico this month has struggled with widespread outages and growing anger as it scrambled Thursday to control a large fire at a main substation that left tens of thousands in the dark. Officials say outages had affected more than 1 million customers so far this month, notwithstanding those affected by the explosion and fire at the substation in the capital of San Juan. Several mayors had declared a state of emergency as they distributed ice and generators to those most in need before Thursday's fire, whose cause was under investigation. Luma Energy, which took over the transmission and distribution system of Puerto Rico's Electric Power Authority on June 1, said on Twitter that the outage caused by the fire would take all night to resolve. Currently 400,000 clients are still without service, Luma Energy tweeted late Thursday. The problem has been isolated and restoration has begun, but it will take overnight to restore service. Many in Puerto Rico had hoped for a quick improvement in service when the company took over, but clients complain it has gotten even worse in Luma's first few days of operations, with problems complicated by heavy rains this week followed by the explosion. This has turned into chaos, said Javier Jimenez, mayor of the western town of San Sebastián, which had established its own brigade of workers to make repairs after Hurricane Maria largely destroyed the U.S. territory's electrical grid in 2017, leaving some people without electricity for nearly a year. Jimenez said he was forced to activate that brigade once again this week because Luma told him it did not have enough manpower to restore electricity to the more than 1,000 families left in the dark over the weekend in his town. I could not believe it, he said. A company that has been here just days. Jimenez also noted that Puerto Ricans have complained that when they call the company, they are placed on hold for hours with no response. A Luma spokeswoman did not return a message for comment, while a company representative, Jose Perez, told local radio stations that the outages could be acts of sabotage or instances of too many people using the system at one time. Then on Thursday afternoon, Luma reported that its website became the target of a cyber attack, saying that the 2 million hits per second it was receiving was preventing customers from accessing the site. Government officials have urged patience, noting that Luma inherited thousands of outages and only just took over a system running on rickety infrastructure, much of it patched together after Hurricane Maria. In early June, Luma CEO Wayne Stensby told reporters that the company had more than 350 line workers and that the number was sufficient.